Uh, so my name is Graham Titchener, I'm with the City of York Council and one of my roles has been leading uh, with Kirsten England the legacy for the Tour de France uh, for the Yorkshire Number region and one of the things that's developed from that including what York has been doing in the last uh, number of years with cycling cities and I travel York to this world is about increasing female participation. Now with the legacy race the Tour de Yorkshire here with us uh, this coming weekend one of the celebrations that uh, we want to do uh, with York and with the Council is actually develop essentially the first UK national conference to actually look at women and cycling, dealing with um, women participating in cycling, uh, in the cycling industry and indeed in, into sport as well. So today is not only a celebration of the Tour de Yorkshire coming to York and it being here, but actually using this to actually highlight this one of the great, I guess, misnomers really could say around about, you know, why aren't women cycling more? So we've developed a conference uh, by women, with women, that's been led by women to look into that. It's not a, a men versus women or anti-car or anything like that, but actually it's looking at just the normalising cycling. That's one of the many points that came out today. So the conference we've just had uh, all day today, chaired by Kirsten, uh, has gone out exceedingly well with a number of leaders, uh, women leaders in the cycling industry, range from Sport England to Isla Roundtree from Isla Bikes, uh, but column for our local uh, bike rescue projects and indeed many others and actually really come together and actually having a good and indeed a start of a conversation and building upon the many good works that has been happening the last few years you know just trying to normalize cycling so not oh no less women are cycling more men are cycling but actually everyone is cycling about being inclusive and so this was the inaugural uh, conference. Do you anticipate this being uh, an annual event or something that will happen again? Uh, we hope so. We hope it is going to be an annual event. Um, that's one of the questions that uh, was raised today. Um, obviously, as ending with the conferences, you know, notes have been made, uh, articles will be written in there, but there are a number of champions, whether it's in the Breeze Network or any other networks, for example, that, you know, hopefully we'll look at taking it forward. So the hope is that, yes, it will become an annual event, an annual national event, uh, but that's one of the things we now need to get to work on. So uh, I suppose part of this is a you know a networking event as well. It, it is, is, yeah. Uh, so did you uh, meet anyone you particularly had any interesting conversations that might lead to something in the future? Well, to be honest, I've been kind of one step removed on purpose because I want to see you know how other people interact, whether from the cycling industry or just volunteer groups or so it's interesting cycling to leaders in, in government departments in there and just seeing how that interaction works. I've got to say it's worked very well. Looking at the various different themes such as health in cycling, marketing, uh, some key case studies like bike building for example, that's been developed in York with um, Nigel York and Sustrans, and just into those conversations, have been partly involved in it and you know, putting a number of things forward from my experience around behavioural change, uh, but really it's just kind of hearing the conversations and people exchanging email addresses and ideas, and a good thing about it, a lot of commonality has been coming out from this as well, such as one group saying one thing, but the other group saying the same thing, such as everyone is on the right kind of wavelength and the right track, and some things that have been taken forward are great, but maybe some of the things aren't really. Uh, so, are you going to be watching the tour, tour de Yorkshire yourself, and where are you going to be if, if so? I will be, yes. Unfortunately, we'll get out and about in, in the sticks and look at it in other areas, but I'll be in New York on um, uh, Saturday to have a look at it, and I'll be with you on the festive system night as well. Uh, really looking forward to it. Any predictions for the stage winner for stage two? Oh, I mean, you know, bring on uh, Bradley Wiggins, whose new team is just starting uh, this time around, so that would be my hope that he or his team, for that matter, makes it. But, you know, go Brits, basically. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add, or, you know, any thoughts on the conference? Or? Uh, just that I hope it goes, you know, it has gone really well, I think. Uh, a lot of people got a lot from it, but it just, like anything, when you have a conference, it just, it's, it, it's not losing that momentum, and it's carrying on with that, so everyone's going to relax and think, oh, wasn't that great, wonderful? Well, actually, don't breathe out too soon. We just need to really pick this up now, pick up the notes, pick up what's been done, and just get that momentum really kicked off.